Carnales, ¿cómo están? Bienvenidos a todos ustedes a un especial de lujo. Yo me encuentro aquí en los camerinos del Auditorio Nacional, donde el día de hoy va a estar presentándose Franz Ferdinand, una excelente, excelente banda que tenemos la oportunidad de platicar con, con ellos. First of all, thank you very much uh, for the time of this interview. You're welcome. Welcome. So, uh, how do you feel uh, playing in a country that far away from your country, playing your music? Well, for me, it's very exciting. How are you? Yeah, yeah, for me as well, yeah. I mean, that sounded good already, what you were saying. I mean, my, my Spanish is uh, rubbish. <laughs> it, 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 it is great. Cool. I mean, like, amazing travel so far and have all these people that love the music. It's really cool. And, and I know that um, you have uh, two great first albums, like this one and, and the first one. How hard is these days try to maintain a success of an album after an album? I think thinking about that sort of thing is always a mistake for a band. You should always keep on making music for as long as you enjoy making it. It's hard playing that much, uh, or at some point you forgot to enjoy the, the things you, you do because how many, that meant a lot of work to do. I should never forget uh, to enjoy yourself, you know, I mean, uh, if you forget that, then there's no point in doing it. Because some bands, I mean, going on tour for a year and they forgot to take a, a rest a little bit to enjoy what you're doing. I mean, the thing is, some, some things yeah. maybe not so much fun, like the traveling maybe, but the shows are always still very exciting. And so it's like anything that you do in life, some bits of it are boring, but for us, to go in front of thousands of people and get that buzz and that energy, you, you can't complain about that, it's amazing. You're, I know you're preparing a, a new album, right? Well, we're writing songs all the time, but I think we're going to take a little rest before we go back into the studio. How hard is the, the creating process of an album? Um, how hard? It's not hard at all, really, is it? It's, it's not hard if you're enjoying it. It, it, it. In fact, the creative process isn't the most difficult, but it's the pulling everything together and making it sound right, like really, really good. And yeah. it's, it's the rehearsal and the arrangement, I'd say, it's hardest. Yeah, I mean, yeah the, 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 the writing the songs is the absolutely most enjoyable thing, I think. Yeah, that's where you're, uh, uh, you're creating something, you're building something, and uh, it's, it's your little kind of baby, I suppose. You know? it's, uh, it's, 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 there's nothing better, except maybe going on stage with 10,000 people. But uh, in your case, it's come first the lyrics or the melody? Uh, it's different for different songs. So uh, a song like Take Me Out is both at the same time. Do you want to both at the same time? Matinee, lyrics first, um, our facts, uh, music first, you know, all different. And I know that you like to mix uh, the music with the art in general. I know that you like a lot art, right? Uh, what is the thing that you that you like more, or your favorite thing about art? I, I think uh, all, all the arts. There are so many ways which human beings express themselves, and, and art, music, lit literature, cinema. They're all very, very similar. I think, like most people, we appreciate them all, and all equally. You know, like it's, it's as much fun to appreciate a good painting or a good piece of art uh, as it is to appreciate a good film or a good piece of music. You, you don't have like any favorite artists? Like, oh, this one is really, really, not I really. Yeah, I like Egon Schiele, he's my favorite painter. How about you? I like uh, Boyce, he's a Boyce, he's a, he's a uh, like, what would you call him, sculptures, I don't think. A sculpture, yeah. Well, uh, oh, kind I don't of. know what you'd call him, really. <laughs> uh, activist. Uh, 
also, um, it really caught my attention the art that you use uh, in your albums. I know that is, uh, well, I don't know, it's kind of an, like Russian avant-garde, something like that. Why do you choose that style? Um, we we appropriated the uh, the style of the constructivist. For me, uh, there's a there's a real naive optimism about it. It's bold and simple. It, it, like, like, like the best pop music, it takes a complex message and communicates it boldly and simply with enthusiasm. Now, uh, another thing that is great and, and really show how artistic you are is the videos, the music videos. Do you put your own ideas uh, when you're planning a video, or it's just the director responsibility? Uh, no, like anything we do, like we we, uh, we love to be involved. I mean, it's what 